There it is. There it is. Oh my gosh. What's up, everybody? Welcome to AU's Hot Ones. I'm Zach Wadley, and joining me today is new campus pastor, Josh Tandy. Thanks for being with us. Man, I am so excited and a little afraid. A little bit afraid. I, like, like when I got this job, Zach messaged me right after I got it and asked what I'm doing. I was, that was the fastest yes I've ever given you. Yeah, like, I was, I was ecstatic it. that you said yes so quick. I was so all quick. over it, yeah. Let me ask you before we get started. Okay. One to ten, your cockiness level. It's high. Are we at? Yeah. It's high. Pretty high. It's bad. Like this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna get humbled. I'm gonna get. <laughs> there's gonna be sweat. There'll be tears. Yeah. Space of blood. Like it's gonna be messy. But uh, I am. I'm pretty confident right now. I'm always interested to see what uh, what part of you takes this the worst because we have to come up with the title oh, for the show. Yeah. So so far Brian's we, lips like yep. fell off or we whatever. Yeah. Melissa was hiccuping. Yeah. Uh, me was sweaty. I'll be sweating. I bet. Okay. That would be that would be probably the number one thing okay. for me. Yeah, I just hope I don't throw up. Okay, yeah, is, yeah. we haven't table, had that which yet. Which is on the table. <laughs> All right. Let's get the view count up. Well, hey, there's no reason to waste any time. Let's just dive right All in. All right. All right. We've got the, the classic hot sauce here. Nothing okay. too crazy. Okay. But dig in. For those who don't know, you're new to the campus pastor role, but you're mm -hmm. not new to Anderson. No. You're an alum. Alum. You also, uh, your wife worked here for yep. a while, so you yep. guys came back. Yep. When you realized you were coming back to Anderson, what was the one local eatery that you were like, yes, baby, we're coming back? Yeah. I'm a big fan of a couple places. I really like the Pit barbecue Ooh. place, on Pit on the Point on MLK. That's a great one. And I believe that owner is an alum as well. Mm -hmm. It's always good to support that. Yeah, that's good. But I also like Tommy J's, the pizza place in downtown Anderson. That's good. Calzones you know, are off the, the calzones charts. Calzones are good. Yeah. Yeah. So those are places that are that are big. Is there Absolutely. anywhere? Because uh, you know when you leave and you come back, there's always like subtle changes. Is there any oh, uh, yeah. any place that's new now? You hear people talking about, and you're like, what is that? Um. So Riviera Maya downtown used to be Real Hacienda. That's right. Which was like the place yeah. when we were when <laughs> yeah. I was here the first time. And everybody goes there and they get a roast con pollo because they're basic or whatever and like that, you know, but they mm -hmm. still do that. But I haven't been there. I've been to Burro Loco. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. It's pretty good, but yeah. You know, so that was different just to kind of get uh, the center of the Mexican restaurant universe has shifted in Anderson. Yes, so, it has. Yeah, yeah breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, how you feel after one? Oh, this is good. This yeah. is really good, yeah. I know, we're just eating right now. Yeah, I'm just eating. This is lunch. Yeah. I, we're recording? Yeah, yeah, did you, you know? yeah, did you pack a lunch for today? <laughs> I did or? not pack a lunch. Okay. I did not pack All a right. lunch. I'm ready. Okay, well, let's hop on to number two here. All right, what's this one? Hit you with a little jala pepper. Okay, okay. Made in Texas. All right. Okay. Now, these are huge wings. These this are. Is serious. I, I, yeah, I'm sorry about this. It's, no. it's been a struggle to find the wings lately. I'm not upset about it. I'm not <laughs> upset about it at all. And Melissa, Bond, doing these little. Yeah. Little <laughs> bites. No, you can't do that. Not today. No, no. So, as mentioned, you went to AU. Mm -hmm. Your wife went to AU. Yeah. How did you guys meet? Tell us the story. So, very stereotypical in some regards, not intentional. But we had freshman Greek class together, which was four days a week at 8 a.m. And I was not a good student. I was not a good student. So I was sitting in the back when I went, fall asleep. And Heidi, my wife, she was up front. But I got to know her over that first semester. And there's just no other way to put this. Like, I fell for her, and I got put in the friend zone, like, bad. Like, bad. Like, she was dating a guy who went to a much lesser Midwestern faith-based institution. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> and uh, uh, I got put in the friend zone. So much so, the freshman formal came around and I was gonna take Heidi to the dance as a friend. Like that was my grand strategy, right? Classic move. Yeah. And then last <laughs> second, the boyfriend decides to come. So where's the boyfriend stay? He oh. stays in my dorm room because <laughs> I'm that good of a friend. I'm that good of a friend, he stays in my It was rough. That is tough, man. So then, <laughs> Fast forward to the spring, I'm still miserable. Like people think we're dating just mm -hmm. because it's that sad, that yep. pathetic. Uh, I'd like to think it's Jim and Pam, but it wasn't, it was bad. <laughs> and so we go on another roommate date, right? We go on another roommate yeah, date. Yeah. And on the way there, because it's at my parents' house, they were we were going out out uh, in Indy to an Indians game. On the way there, she lets me know that, that her and the other guy have broken up. 
Well, and that was that was total news to me. So mm -hmm. I think, hey, all right, let's do this. We're on a date, right? Yeah. So that starts a series of eight different times over a four to five month period <laughs> where I asked like, Hey, like, can I call you my girlfriend? Are we going out? Are we dating? Whatever. <laughs> and I got shot down. Eight <laughs> times I got shot down. It was until September. <laughs> next fall, student leader training, RA training. She finally is like, yes. And we've been together since. And very stereotypical. Got engaged when we were juniors. Got married right after we graduated. All the good stuff. Best friend. Awesome person. But it took us a while to get there. You know? I, I'm just picturing you after each one going back to. Yeah. The you're guys. Going back yeah. to your dorm yeah. and like, all right. Yeah. What are we doing different? Yeah, I'm, strategizing. I'm, yeah, attempt trying number to figure six. This out, yeah. <laughs> That's perseverance. I mean, after what time were you were, were you getting close to giving up, or were you like, no way? This I was never. Get, I was never getting close to giving up because she was <laughs> clearly like interested. Like we were hanging yeah, out all right. the time. She was a camp counselor, and so we, she would call me at, in, in the at night after she was done. We talked on the phone for three hours, and I hate talking on the phone for that yeah. long, right? But. I, you know, I thought we were we were doing something. We we're still there, and it kind of became a joke, but not funny. You know, kind right? Of sad, funny, but I'm glad there's been wedded bliss. It worked after out after all. After all that, worked out. Uh, let's hop on to number yeah. three here. Yeah, we've got uh, Tomasa spicy habanero manzano chile hot sauce cantina royal. Okay, now when does it get hot for you? Because so far this has just been lunch. Yeah, yeah, probably like six. Okay, all right. I will admit these wings are pretty big, and I put like the normal amount of hot sauce in here. So don't maybe, do that. Don't, yeah, I don't do that. You gotta cut that out right I, there. Yeah, I should have. Uh, right, I need you a know, reputation to uphold here. Right, but mm -hmm. by the end you'll still be feeling it. Well, so I oh, told that's good. I told you this recently when I saw you, but if I was constructing my Mount Rushmore of AU. You, your face would be on it, and this is why. I think you're a legend at AU, and you, you'll you'll say no, but here's why I say you are. You when did you graduate? Oh six. Okay, yeah. I didn't come here until ten. Yeah. I I live in Smith Hall. You lived in Smith Hall. Yep. Yeah. People still talk about you well, in Smith Hall because well. <laughs> of Oktoberfest. Yeah. People talk about it. And everybody, there's people who probably don't even know you. Hey, Josh Tandy, he's the guy who came up with this. People that, know you. That's not a current <laughs> phenomenon. That's not, that's not something you're... So I was all in. I loved yeah. Oktoberfest as an RA. I loved planning it. I thought it was amazing. We were still going strong years yep. after your graduation. Yep. Yeah. So for those who don't know, yeah. what, yeah. was, what, what was Oktoberfest? How did it come to be? So you know how Christians will sometimes take something in culture and then just twist it in a bad way, like no bad art. That was bad <laughs> art. So what we had my sophomore year, I was an RA in Smith Hall, loved Smith Hall, loved living there. Loved Dunn Hall as a freshman, but loved living in Smith Hall. We had a bad community, bad mm -hmm. vibe going on over there. People weren't excited about living there. Mm -hmm. So if people weren't excited about living there, females weren't excited about visiting there. And that was a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. So we had to come up with an event that would draw people in, right? We had to mm -hmm. give, them, give them an excuse to come over because it was fourth floor Smith. Like you're not passing through fourth floor Smith. Like you, you, you are so far away. You have to be like, you know, <laughs> part of the deal. So it wasn't my original idea. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was. I remember the planning meeting in the other RA's room and several of us were there. We thought, let's do a root beer kegger. I didn't know you get root beer in a keg, but you can, <laughs> which led to me and my RD visiting a local liquor store to buy a root beer keg. And so, a keg of root beer. So we did that. <laughs> we did Oktoberfest. I guess we did three of those, it was in the fall. Mm -hmm. We had two, the kegs for a cause. We ran out the marketplace and uh, put on a concert and benefit. We had Josh Garrels play one year. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun, but it was purely just to get people to like, invest in the community and come <laughs> over more yeah. for Fort Smith. Hey, it worked and yeah. it stuck around. Like I said, yeah. we were still doing it, uh, let's see, 2012, 2013. Yeah. We were still going strong. Yeah. We blew it up so big, we had to move it over to the Rice Hall lobby. Yeah. Smith Hall was too, yeah. uh, too yeah. small. So yeah. Yeah. your yeah. legacy has lived on. Well, I'm so disappointed that that's I was gonna the say, thing is that, that lives what it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. But a great event. Oxo a great event. And I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how you feeling? I feel great. I feel good. I, I thought there was. Uh, I thought these were supposed to be spicy. Yeah. Well, it wasn't spicy until I just got a little bit of spice stuck in the back of my throat. But uh, let's move to number four here. Okay. 
Los Calientes Barbacoa. Barbacoa, all right. Okay, what I have here. Oh, the picture. Yeah, it's nothing bad, it's nothing bad. So all it is is a photo we found on your social media. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The dog and the wood burning stove. We well, just wanna stuff. know what is happening here. Oh, I'm heating my home with my own sweat and labor. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. This right is here. what you had to do to heat your home? <laughs> that's not what I had to do. I chose to <laughs> you do that. Chose to do. I, chose, I enjoy doing that. So that's our that's our dog Rosie. She's okay. a puppy at the time. She's just discovering the beauty of this. So mm. wood burning stove. You I I would get um, I go on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and get people who just got a tree cut down. I would get the unsplit rounds of tree and bring it back to my side. I would split it. Mm -hmm. That would be that was kind of one of my hobbies. And then you feed that sucker and it heats up your home and it's very nice. And Amazing. It's, it's awesome. Is it a money saver? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this was in, is this your house? Were you in, in, in Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky? Yeah, this is yeah. Cincinnati area, but northern Kentucky. Yeah, so did that there and, and uh, yeah, that was that was kind of like my big outlet, you know. Mm. You sometimes, sometimes in ministry and a lot of professions, but what I know about ministry is there's not always a guaranteed return on your work. It's mm -hmm. like you put in X amount of hours in, doesn't mean you're going to get X amount of hours out or X amount of benefit sure. out. So I knew there's a big stack of wood, and I had to get into smaller pieces to burn. I spend so much time out there, I can get, I know what I'm going to get out of it. Sure. So, Did so you I'm pretty good, pretty good with an axe. No, she grew up with doing that. So okay. she was she was all about it. Man, all another, about it. another moment where you realize you married the right woman. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. When you go to do that. What kind of dog? She is a lab schnauzer mix. Very nice. So just really the main society, nothing fancy, but mm -hmm. have you always had a dog? We did. In Rice Hall, for those who remember, way back when, we had another mutt, similar size, named Judy, who was okay. who was a big part of big part of it. So we got her right after we got married. Yeah. Let's move on to number five, halfway home okay. after this one. I've heard people complain about this one. This is kind of a, a shocking, the mustardy. Yeah, it's, uh, no. so actually I read this today. It's pineapple and ginger hot sauce. Okay. okay. I'm not a big pineapple guy. That's why I don't yeah, like it. I'm okay but, with pineapple. So we're about halfway up on the heat Ginger here. goat? Yeah, called? yep, yep. So actually it's this yellow one. It's right the here. yellow one, yep, okay. The yellow one. Let's skip that one right there, okay. Yep. So. You've mentioned a few times now that your wife was the RD of Rice mm -hmm, Hall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I always think this is an interesting thing because... Because I lived there. You lived there. Yeah. <laughs> so you're living basically in a building with a mm hundred -hmm. plus, mm -hmm. uh, not just girls, but like freshman girls. Uh, we had a really good kind of RD group mm -hmm. and kind of really connected well with them. And a lot of people going through similar stage of life. Some people that were at AU at some more time, so we already knew them. Um, but Heidi calls it her dream job of her 20s, be yeah. the, the RD. And it was great. It was a good fit for, for all of us. But that was before kids. I have no idea what it was like. I was going to say, like. that'd be tough. Like, cause some people do that. Some mm -hmm. raise kids in, in, the, in the dorm and God bless them. But that's yeah, awesome. We never had that opportunity. Yeah. And so then you guys left uh, after 11? Yeah, 11. At that time, I'd been on staff at Genesis Church. Yep. And so we moved over to Noblesville for about two years and we're there at Genesis. Uh, before we got sent out to plant a church, which is where we've been the last eight years or so. so yeah. Great segue, right? Yeah, into, right yeah, into the it's next like, one. It's like it's like I knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going <laughs> high desert Tikhat Masala here. So is this guy? That guy right there. All yep. Right, all right. So they like say you go, you start a church. Yeah. From the ground up. Yeah, crazy people do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what what was that like? <laughs> because we talked to uh, Nee on yeah, the show. Yeah, he's done some church planning. Yeah, he's, he, in it he's now. done that. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I just think it's interesting. You're, you know, you're the pastor. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that like, especially when you start? I mean, you're probably doing far more than just preaching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're trying to figure out things from like the legal side to like get you know, mm -hmm. like being LLC and all that. And then obviously the biggest thing is just meeting people, serving the community, all that. So we moved. Uh, to Northern Kentucky, which is nearby, where we were was nearby Northern Kentucky University, growing area, all that fun stuff, great area, um, and just started serving. And so you show up, you meet people, you try not to be like the weird, like Ned Flanders neighbor, right. but like you try to just, <laughs> you try to meet people, you try to serve people, you try to figure yeah. out what the problems are and all that. And it went well, it went really well. The church is still going, all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, it, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. I mean, mm -hmm. professionally. So we'll see, we'll see how this tops it. Right. I'm sure there'll be challenges here too, but incredibly rewarding. It was really good. 
What, how are we doing? Are we feeling it yet? A little tingling. My, my lips uh, are starting to feel yeah, it I feel here. Okay, once bigger. we get past like five, it's chocolate milk time. Well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We got, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're here. Hey, I don't want to talk bad stretching. about anybody who's been on this show, but you, oh, seem, you seem to be the do. toughest guy. That's oh, been on this show. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Man, we still did got you the, hear that knee? Yeah. <laughs> you hear that B? How about that, Melissa? We, we, huh? still, we still got the big ones to go, but you're really, uh, you're standing strong right now. Well, well, we're doing our, I, yeah. Yeah, I think you might have been nice to me. Let's, yeah. we'll see. <laughs> so right now I got hotter than L. Hotter Love than burns. L. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It does burn. It does. It does. Yeah. Uh, so now you, you're a pastor, you're a preacher. Uh-huh. Okay. So I think about it like this. I played basketball and baseball mm-hmm. growing up and mm-hmm. whatnot. And when I go take the mound or I go out there for warm ups and basketball, normally about, you know, five shots into warm ups. No. I know yeah. if it's if it's my night or not. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm just wondering as a pastor, mm-hmm. at what point when you get up there, are you like, man, I am crushing this sermon. Yeah. We're saving people today. Or like, <laughs> maybe I missed the mark on this <laughs> You know quick, usually. <laughs> well, it's tough. It's tough to really gauge that because you don't know what's going on in people's minds, right? right. You know, uh-huh. Some things like that. But there have been times where, you know, I just, I think it's great. I, I joked about this earlier that every pastor kind of wishes they were a stand-up like you know and so we get up there and we tell our cheesy stories or our bad mm. jokes and it bombs because we don't have confidence in it and it's not that funny to begin with and all that <laughs> and then there you go and so but i will say there have always been i've always like tried to find people that i know are like good active listeners sure right like who's nodding along like i try to key in on them because it can be weird to Think about how it's like almost performative. You don't want that to be the case, but you're trying to do what God's trying to share what God's doing in your life. So sure, yeah. But there's other times where it's just like, whoa, that I bombed there, right? and then yeah. So basically, if I'm preaching at Reardon for Chapel, and you and we get out like at 11:30, that means I thought it was going bad, and I'd start <laughs> talking faster. So, Early lunch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, one of those deals. All right, man. I'm starting to... I'll do a little chocolate milk. Please. I'll join you. It's, I'll join it's you. starting to get there. It's there. It's there. <laughs> Woo! Okay. That was Love Burns, right? Yeah, and it's burning. It is. It, it is. is. Bur- Woo! And questions are going to start getting hot Let's do too, it. You know? Let's so, do it. You know, start, start getting deep here. Yeah. First things first, uh, I can't... You have to reach it. Okay. I assure it. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing the, the bomb. The bomb evolution. People talk bad about it. They talk bad about it? Yeah. They say it doesn't taste good. And I am. Okay, I remember this one. Yeah. I am those people. (laughs) I I think it tastes terrible. This is a big one. This is a big one you gave me here. Yeah, it is. And yeah, I have a big one too. So I figured this is the moment that we would really plunge into the depths of. Cheer it up. There we go. Yeah. So it's game time here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. Can you name all the books of the Bible? Can I name all the books of the Bible? Yeah, I'll help you. I don't think I can, but I'll help you. Well, <laughs> easy <laughs> start. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't some spices. <laughs> just start with the Old Testament, right? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a nice place to start. Mm-hmm. Let's alternate. Okay. Genesis. Exodus. Leviticus. Numbers. Deuteronomy. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> Look at this. We're six in. We're six in. First Samuel. Oh man, I thought it was Judges. No, it is Judges. You're right. You're right. Judges. You're right. First Samuel. Second Samuel. First Kings. Second Kings. First, First Chronicles. Second Chronicles. You're setting me up for the easy ones. I know. Here. Not intentionally. I, I tried. I didn't think about that. I don't There's know the order Judges. I think it's Ezra, Nehemiah. Did you ever learn the song? No. Okay. I've heard people do that. See, I don't know the song either, but I only remember one snippet of the song, and I don't yeah. know why I remember <laughs> this snippet of the song. But it's the part that goes, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah. <laughs> and that's the only part of the Bible I can name in order because it's the can only you do part. That one more time? <laughs> <Yes. Can> you <laughs> My wife will be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I think I can if do you don't know the of... song, you probably aren't going to yeah, know. I know. You know. Woo! I can't believe I screwed up the Old Testament. Now, I'm going to. We get all these emails and messages. Oh, well, the whole whole department. Hey, S-O-T-C-M you know what? I, hates me now. Yeah. I sprung that on you, and then I didn't even bring the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you would have memorized that, like you no. could have just dominated I, I, that. Yeah. Yeah. What do we get? We got like 
We got like 12 books in. Yeah, maybe. If we went and found two Joes off the street, I bet they couldn't get 12 books in. Maybe. I don't know if our 12 was accurate. In no. order. <laughs> but a Philemon name drop. That's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Turn that number nine around. All right, righty. Scorpion Disco. Scorpion. Yeah, this, this is the name that I like the most. Yes. Okay. Did you, were you, are you feeling the bomb? A little bit, yeah. Okay. I liked it though, taste wise. I, I don't know. Oh. Okay. I'm not, not discriminating food wise. Yeah, yeah, you're so, not. Yeah. All right. A little disco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. There's no secret. Yeah, this is hot. It's mm -hmm. very hot. <laughs> and careful when you talk. Don't inhale too much. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can get those mm -hmm. spices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, there's no secret The last year was. Mm. It was just tough. I mean, plain yeah. and simple, it was just tough. Yeah. And I know you weren't necessarily, you, you weren't here at AU, but everybody felt it no matter where they were. Mm -hmm. In your role, how are you going to encourage students, uh, you know, to bounce back after yeah. after last year? How do we how yeah. do we come back from this and kind of return to what college looks like to you and me when we went here? Yeah, yeah. I think that, A, I think uh, in my experience, particularly American Christians, are terrible at lamenting. Like we're terrible with grief. Mm -hmm. We we say we tell people to um, get over your grief, or we say that um, we hope we hope you're not as sad or whatever it is, right. it, or we just deny it, full stop. We just don't even go there. So for me, I think we got to find a way to appropriately grieve, to appropriately say like there was loss and there was pain and there was there was all this stuff. But also, we can't just stay there. You know, we have to balance that with hope. And so I think that my prayer for, particularly this incoming freshman class, is that they would see themselves as, as, as the people who can create culture. And there is a bit of a blank slate, because even with the freshmen who have no experience, the sophomores and even the juniors have limited experience of what the campus community and student life can be. Right. So it's kind of a challenge, like you're here, like, Embrace it, live into it. Yeah. Like if you want something else, like make it, like be a part of that change. So that's what I think about. We can't deny what was lost or what's been lost, mm -hmm. but we've got to also say like, okay, we're still here. God's not done. Right. So what are we gonna do about it? I think too, it's important you know, when you talk about loss, I think sometimes, especially in this country, we always go to the, the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah. And you say, yeah. Well, I didn't lose anybody close to me yeah. necessarily, but yeah. you still lost things. Yeah, you still we still lost experiences. Grief, we minimize it. We do all those things. We kind of make it seem like it's not as bad. Which right. It's not a competition. It's not, my wife says it's not hardship Olympics, right? Yeah. But there's still hardship. Mm -hmm. You know, there's still like there's still pain there. So it doesn't matter if you've had more pain than I have. Mm -hmm. Like I've had pain. You've had pain. Okay. Like so, what do we do about that? Right. But. Um, yeah, I, 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 sorry, get preaching. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> that's yeah. great. That's great. That was hot. It was hot. It was good. It was good. I can feel the pores opening up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sweating yet. I got a little runny nose, but I'm not sweating. Yet. I'm shocked. I'm about ready to have to blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did it. Almost. Almost. We got to the end here. All right, what do we got? Are we dabbing it up? Oh, well, yeah, sure. Okay. Feel free. All right, the last dab. The last dab. All right. Made it to the end. Oh, man. We gotta go for it here. We gotta go for it. Oh. We gotta go mercy. for it. Okay. All right. I think you're gonna, you're gonna regret that. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm here for the full experience, Zach. Look, I can't. I'm in on it. Oh. Yeah, tap the 57, right? Yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you got you got ah, more than you bargained one for. One more fell out than I want to do. <laughs> you, okay. you said I'm gonna regret. It. I think you got more extra yeah, on there. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, All right, cheers. There it is. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't cough. That makes it worse. Mm -hmm. I just feel the snot just coming <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> okay. So this year's chapel theme yeah. is called the Sore. Yeah. 
as you finish up, as you clean that final wing, yeah. what does that theme mean to you? What does Call to Soar mean? How are you going to call our students to soar this year? Yeah. So, let me get some water here. As I was saying, just that whole idea of we're here, so what are we going to do about it? I think that for so many, this is that time, that period of life where faith becomes your own, you figure out who you are as a person, yep. figure out what your values are, what's important to you. So, Anderson for me, AU for me, was that place you're struggling. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, switch the milk around. I'm embarrassed like, at how well you're handling this. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Mm. It's hot, no doubt. So I spit food. Um, <laughs> so it's this place where you figure it out. For me, this is that place where sometimes when you're figuring those things out, that's really hard. And it's like destabilizing and what's going on. AU is that place that kept pointing me back to Jesus. Faculty, staff, mentor figures, you know, RDs, student life staff, professors, all that. You know, that was huge. So now we come into a year of rebuilding, of new challenges, new opportunities, all that stuff. So how are we gonna how are we gonna step out? How are you gonna right. how are you gonna so it's gotta be balancing challenge and support and figuring out what that tension is so that you can thrive, so you can soar, all that uh -huh. kind of stuff. So that's that's what I think about. He takes another drink. Mm -hmm. Every time I put it down, I gotta pick it right back mm -hmm, up. Mm -hmm. Your face turned a little red, but you have no signs of yeah. wear and tear after this. I mean, yeah. you know, if you give me 10 of those, that would be rough. We need some blue cheese and some celery. Should have told me sure. before the show we could have done that, you know? <laughs> Unbelievable job, my friend. Well, well, yeah. Hopefully I, think that, I preach half as well. Yeah, 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 you know? I, I don't know, but if you preach as well as you eat hot wings. Yeah, we'll Woo! see, we'll see. There will be people getting saved. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Hey, man, this was fun. Thanks for coming on here. Before we Happy go, do it. look into that camera. Just plug what you got coming up here. I know yeah. you got chapel starting and whatnot. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. So chapel's big, uh, but there's so much going on with campus ministries and all the different ways that you can get involved. So my encouragement to you, if you're a student, and you're watching this. If you're an undergrad, and watch this. Is find your level of comfortability with involvement, with engagement, and take a step. So. If you're saying, I, I can't really do anything yet, I'm still figuring things out, or I really focus on my classes, I mean, just take one step further. So, chapel, you know, hey, turn your phone off. Just sit there and engage with it and, and listen. Like, it may not be your perfect ideal chapel, but maybe God's gonna do something in that. Or maybe it's social clubs, or maybe it's campus ministries, or whatever whatever it is, a life group on your floor. Uh, just take a step. Just figure out what that next step is and, and pursue that. Man, that's great. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, man. We Thanks did for it. coming on. We did we it. We did it. Let's do this. Uh, and we'll see you in chapel. Yeah. Yeah. Bringing the good word. That's Josh Tandy. I'm Zach Wadley. This has been AU Hot Ones. <laughs> there we Woo! go. There we go.